All right, let's see. Are we gonna get a gold map? Oh my god! You know what? Watch me get this. I'm so good at this. This game is literally the easiest thing I've played in my life. What's going on everyone, it's Cryptic Boss here bringing you another Lost Ark video and in this one we are going to be talking about how to make over half a million gold in Lost Ark. Now making gold just keeps getting easier and easier as you know as long as you play the game. The more you play, the more you progress your account, the more gold income you're going to have on a weekly basis, even a daily basis. You will not believe how easy it is to just make 100k within a week. I've been saving a lot of gold for over a month now and I just reached almost 600 thousand gold in the game you're looking at my current roster right now and the number one thing that i want to start with is to stop honing but before we get into that i just want to say that i do stream almost every single day on twitch so if you want to check me out over there it's twitch.tv forward slash cryptic boss hit the sub button down below and also leave a like on this video if you did find this helpful i am saving a lot for reaper she's going to be my main i'll probably end up making multiple reapers and if you want to see a lot of fun content about reaper then you don't want to miss out so with that being said let's get into the video while we're loading into the game i just want to say that making gold is actually quite easy there's a couple of things you need to know you have to be really smart about the market you have to not constantly keep up with the market but always keep an eye on the honing materials for example the leaf stones those are the number one source of my gold i have been selling a ton of leaf stones and if you have multiple characters you could just run guardian raids on a daily basis and sell all the leaf stones that you get however keep in mind that this is the most efficient when you're doing Descaluda, which is the 1415 guardian raid because i find that one to be the easiest and the fastest on average it takes me about two to three minutes depending on you know who i get in the matchmaking and so to run that two times on a character that basically means you're spending about five to seven minutes on each character times that by six or even ten that's honestly you know just roughly an hour or even less now here's my death blade looking absolutely beautiful i'm so so obsessed with this die i mean just look at that that's not the point of this video we are going to be talking about the gold as you can see i'm at 597 000 gold pretty much 600k so cryptic how did you get to 600k gold in lost ark and it's actually once again quite easy however there are a couple things that you need to know a couple smart things to do so the first and easy method of gold making in lost ark is basically running your guardian raids and selling your leaf stones now, if you go to the marketplace actually i want to say the first step is to just stop honing so scratch that the number one thing you want to do is just completely stop honing because you will be surprised by how much gold you are spending and just tap on a daily basis if you even do like one tap a day that's still going to add up so if you just completely stop honing at a certain level and just start selling mats you will be making the big bucks now as of today we do have the crystallized destruction stones at nine gold each these were up to 14 or 16 gold and i was selling them at that time i stopped selling them now simply because if you look at my inventory i do have a lot of mats over 70,000 of these blue stones we have over 30,000 of these red ones thousand on our leap zones the thing is we are getting two big patches right we're going to be getting reaper in november about november 16th then we're going to get summoner in december with new classes what happens is the mats will be kind of you know cheap between now until the release it's always going to be lingering around like you know nine gold ten gold for the red stones the blue stones is always going to be like one or two gold and for the leap stones it's going to be like 50 to 56 g's right that is the current state of the market in na east as we get close to reaper's release these mats are only going to rise up regardless of what we get in terms of the a power pass a hyper express a growth event whatever it is these mats especially the honor leaf stones will 100 they are going to double in value if not triple i don't want to say triple but i do see these going to you know almost 100 g's on the release of reaper and summoner the reason is with the current state of lost ark we just got a 1415 hyper express event for scouter and when reaper comes we will be extremely lucky to even get a 1445 hyper express event that is a big if it might not even happen and if it doesn't happen of course these are going to go even more up and if it does happen these leaf stones are still going to be way more than 50 g's which is the current price of these stones the reason is because you need to get to 1490 for brell who is going to be coming in december as well so you could just imagine the amount of people starting lost ark returning to lost ark holding like crazy making a reaper making a summer and trying to get them to you know brell level 
level, it's just the golden time for you to farm these leap stones and sell them. Now, I sold about 3,000 of these leap stones earlier, you know, last month. I was doing guardian raids every single day and I kept selling these, but I came to a realization that I need to stop. The reason is, Reaper is going to be my main and I have been hoarding mats for her. So when I was selling every single thing that I made every single day, I was like, I know these mats are only going to go up. Why don't I just save them, use what I need to on Reaper and I could just sell the remainder, keep a track of my gold that way because later on when I sell it, it's going to be selling for a lot of gold in terms of selling it now. I'm only going to get about 50 G's for Leap Stones 53, but if I sell it when Reaper drops, then I'll have way more. Now let's say you're not even going to be making a Reaper or any new class within the coming months. Then you should consider yourself to be the luckiest Lost Ark player right now because all you have to do is make these mats. You can hoard them or you can just sell them. If you want to be super safe, just sell them right now. Or if you want to be like me, if you are making a class, it's just an advice. You don't have to take it. I would advise you to just hoard these mats, use what you have to on your new class, and then sell the remainder of them. If you don't even want to use a single one of these tradable mats, which is very smart, all you can do is just hold on to these, sell them on the day of Reaper's release because I'm telling you, these prices are going to definitely skyrocket. I mean, 1G for these blue stones is dirt cheap. 9 for these. We got the leap stones at 54 now. These were 57 last night, in fact. If you look at the recent prices, look at that. 54, 55, 56. These are only going to go up. I just told you two of the methods so far. Stop honing and sell your leap stones in particular. Now, the third method that I find to be very useful for me, at least, is basically flipping or selling gems. Now, when I say flipping gems, I don't really mean sniping them off the market and, you know, selling them. What I actually do, I was fusing gems to level seven and kind of gambling because getting a level seven gem is not so hard if you have a lot of alts and you, you're in a guild. You just have to get lucky and do your chaos dungeons to get the boss rush tickets. These boss rush tickets are so valuable because the more you get them, the more gems you can fuse. And when I fuse a level seven gem, all I do is just do a couple taps with my silver. Now, I know silver is very important, but the thing about rerolling gems to sell is that you're not looking for a specific ability. For example, Deathblade. Now, she has a lot of amazing skills like Blitz Rush. Oh, we have the Surge being the best skill. We have Void Strike. We also have the Soul Absorber. If you got a damage gem and you want to sell it, you could just tap it a couple times and you could either land on Soul, a Void Strike, a Blitz Rush, or a Surge. But if you want this gem for yourself and you want one of the skills from all of these skills, then it's going to be very hard. So in that case, I would advise you to buy the gem that you need. Moving on to my fourth and one of my favorite tips, I would say. As you guys know, I do stream on Twitch and I love helping out people. Like carrying my viewers, my friends, trading carries, all that good stuff. What I do with Oreja in particular, if someone needs a carry in my chat, I invite them and I title it free carry no bid. I have gotten quite lucky and every time I get lucky, I end up making about 10,000 gold from Oreja and I do this on every single one of my alts. You might or you might not get lucky. Now, there's a lot of times. In fact, I've gone weeks without getting anything without a single gold drop. But when that happens, I sometimes do instead get a card. So it's like a win win situation for everyone because you're helping someone out. You know, you're being nice. You have a chance of getting lucky for getting a card or a gold engraving book, which you can sell for a lot of gold, especially with prices nowadays. I mean, let's just have a look at how much a death blow book would cost you at the moment. I mean, it must be ridiculous. I'm, I'm thinking 17 K minimum 16.7. Now let's look at like a shadow hunter 15.9. Let's even look at grudge as you can see is at 17. 0.499. Yo, put your hands up if you did buy Grudge when it was only 8,000 Gs because your boy sure did. And I did the same thing. I was selling Leap Stones on a daily basis. I was selling every single mad that I made and I stopped honing just to be able to afford my plus 12 Grudge book. Now, since this video is getting quite long, I've been recording for 20 minutes now. Oh my God. We're gonna go to the last and final tip that the fifth tip this is in no particular order by the way you can do whatever you want but the last tip that i want to talk about is doing your maps every time they are available when i say maps this is what i mean they might not be on today oh they are actually in 20 minutes so you're twisting chaos legion i'm assuming every one of you at least has a main who's you know 14 15 or something in the 1400s and if you are you can go ahead and do the 14 15 the highest level of the twisting 
demon legion the chaos gate whatever you want to call it basically you have a chance of getting a relic a legendary a blue or a purple map these are so valuable because you're guaranteed getting some gems you're guaranteed getting some shard packs you're guaranteed getting some books you can even get a legendary book if you're lucky enough which i have personally this is just a guaranteed way to get a good amount of gold you also get the lucky materials every time i do these maps i end up making about 5,000 gold it is so free all you have to do is run it. it takes two minutes you get a map and then you can you know do that map with a bunch of random people make sure you do this in a party another thing i want to talk about within this once you get these maps right you can actually go to this vendor which is called if you just write the map exchange right here so the map exchange guy is right over there i'm gonna go there right now so we're gonna talk to her and what you want to do let's just assume that i have blue maps so i'll put one blue map and then i'll put three other blue maps and this rank up rate is going to go up which means basically the more maps you add the rank up rate increases so i basically put three blue maps it goes to 100 percent which means that i will be fusing a purple map and i've done this multiple times and i cannot tell you how lucky i've been in fact by doing these chaos gates or whatever you want to call it the chaos legion gates you can also go to the rift exchange which is right over here right next to him so we're gonna go to the rift exchange and you can buy the radiant constellation secret map chest and i can't tell you how many times i've got lucky with this i probably will not get lucky right now but let's have a look all right just for the video i know it's gonna hold me but let's see come on give it a nice little shake and we got a purple map. Usually, I I always get legendary. I know it sounds crazy, but I usually get legendary maps. I'm not sure about the math when it comes to how valuable it is sacrificing these maps to make a legendary one. I just do it because I like doing legendary maps, and it does give you some big juicy drops and if you look at the prices at the moment it is quite up there and it's only going to be going up shard bags these are at 462 for the largest one this was at 500 when my boy scouter got released and you can only imagine how much this is going to go up when reaper comes out so i would say stack up on these you'll get a bunch of these uh, large pouches the medium ones the small ones of course if you do the blue maps you also do get these solar protections which again you can sell for quite a bit of gold so easy three to five k Gs at least on these maps and these do happen you know every other day easy way to make gold so these are my top five ways to make gold at the moment i'm sure there's a lot of other ways that i can share with you guys in the upcoming video so if you want to see that make sure to leave a like i will be making a reaper i will juice her to at least you know 14 i don't know 14 45 to 1500 on day one so if you want to see some of that hit the sub button down below come over to my stream ask me any questions you have i will be making a reaper guide as well with that being said see you in the next one Bye bye